and it's hot as shit, so. Good morning, everyone. So my name is Kayla Diane, and you have tuned in to Groovy Kitty. Uh-huh. So, anyways, I don't know why I did that. That was cringe. Yeah, anyways. Good morning everyone, so my name is Kayla Diane and today you have tuned in to Groovy Kitty. So today on this vlog, I'm going to be showing you guys what I do in the garden. I have to pull up all my lemongrass. I don't think lemongrass grows in the winter, so right now I'm about to cut it all, um, roll it up, and store it. Lemongrass is really great for tea. It's great for your immune system, your stomach, just overall just your inside. It tastes really good. So I'm about to cut up that. I've I have so much of it. So yeah, that's why I have these glasses. Cause I'm not trying to get cut on the eyes, you know? Ooh, these damn things is, I just washed them so they're damaged. Yeah, so let's get to it. If you guys don't know, this is lemongrass. So much of it. As you see, there's like trash in there. Is wild so I'm trying to cut it up and store it hey you guys so I want to come over here and do a voiceover for everyone so that way you guys aren't just watching me cut grass you know so lemongrass is an amazing herb that helps improve your overall health I have sickle cell anemia so lemongrass is great for that because I take iron pills I'm gonna try using these big ones the comparison because these ones ain't working you know a few times a month or a few times every other month i get super constipated it helps with detoxing the body stomach disorders and it helps me poop like i'm gonna be honest it, i struggle with pooping so i drink lemongrass tea and i am good i mean not not one cup of tea a few cups of tea but yeah i'd be good after that Lemongrass is also great for the skin and helps prevent body odor and also treats infection. So, you know, if you have wingworm or scabies or athlete's foot, even urinary tract infections. Like, I know we're always trying to find some way to get rid of urinary tract infections. Let's be honest, we do. And lemongrass is really great for that. So make you a cup of tea and, you know, get rid of it. Lemongrass is rich in antioxidants, cures sleep disorders. Lemongrass does a ton of things, so just look it up for yourself. You can definitely look it up on Google, Pinterest, YouTube, you know, pick any site, whatever you want to look it up on. And yeah, lemongrass is also very easy to grow yourself, you know. So I first grew mine inside of a inside of a Dollar Tree bag. And then I transferred it to the ground because I wanted to grow even bigger. So, yeah, definitely try it out. And it smells so good. Look, she found the catnip. That's catnip I had planted. And she found it. Well, it just um, accidentally pulled it out. So I'm gonna buy some more later. That's so cute. I wasn't sure if it was real catnip because they've never messed with it because it was hidden behind all this lemongrass. I'm guessing they couldn't smell it because lemongrass is very strong. Once you touch it, it's very strong. But now that it's out, she smells it. All the grass I have so far. And I'm tired. So I live in a projects and I was not about to let my circumstances stop me from having a garden. I love plants, so I figured why not start a garden so that way I know what's going inside of my fruit and vegetables. So I have a peach tree, a lemon tree, tomatoes, I have collard greens, cabbage, everything. So whenever my kids are hungry, they just go to the garden and pick off like, you know, fruits, strawberries, peaches, carrots, tomatoes. Yeah, you know, whatever they want to eat for the day. And they love it. I mean, the tomatoes, like you'd be surprised. Like my kids love tomatoes. Cause like the tomatoes, when you grow it yourself, it tastes so different. I wish I could cut closer to the root because that's where all 
that's where the good stuff is. But I'm gonna do that next year. I have to buy better scissors for next year because these scissors ain't working. And my hands hurt. This is actually a lot of work. Heard from the store bought tomatoes. Everything tastes different. Like even strawberries. Strawberries taste so different when you grow it yourself. And it is so simple. All you need is really just manure and dirt. Really. There are many different ways to grow plants, but I use the dirt method. So yeah. My goal is to motivate everyone to grow their own food and not to depend on the government and like just, you know, other people to feed you because you don't know what they're putting in it. And like nowadays, most of the food is fake and full of chemicals. So definitely learn how to grow your own food. You don't need a large amount of space to have a garden. You could definitely, you know, get a couple grow bags. You know the reusable bags that you get from the grocery store? TJ Maxx, Marshalls, those are reusable bags. I definitely do show you guys later on in the video when I'll show you guys my peppermint, the bags I'm talking about. You can also use like old dressers or anything like that. You know, just find something for you to be able to put dirt and your plants in. You can use buckets. You can definitely go to Dollar Tree and use the buckets from Dollar Tree. I've done that before. Use what you have. You'll be surprised by what you have in your house that you're not using that you could use the garden with. You don't need a ton of space. You just need an area. It could be inside your home or it could be outside your home. There are grow lights that you could buy if you are planting, if you're planning on growing inside your home. They do have grow lights, so that's definitely an option, you know, if you guys don't have an outside space. Ooh, look at it. I haven't seen this in forever. Like, oh my gosh, it looks so different. It looks so different now. Now I just gotta push all that over there. And then I gotta pull up all of this. This is all weeds. Should probably put that catnip back in the ground, huh? That way I don't have to buy another plant. I might just end up doing that. But I'm, right now I'm about to cut this peppermint right now. One thing about peppermint is that once you put it, once you plant it, it will always grow back. No matter if it dries out, no matter what, it will always, always grow back. And they say don't put peppermint in the ground because it will take over like the whole thing. And like not all plants go with peppermint. And also, you don't want that much peppermint. Like, the peppermint, the smell of peppermint is, is extremely strong. I love it though. So is the lemongrass. Like, it's, it smells so good out here. You don't want heck of peppermint. Like, I bought heck of peppermint this year and spearmint, and it was way too much for me to handle. So, I definitely do not. And once you cut it, it grows back super fast. Like, within like, within days, within like a week, like you already have, maybe two weeks, like you already have like a big ass bush again. So you only need one peppermint plant. And I, I did, I did, I did a couple of varieties and it's hot as shit, so I'm, yeah, about to go. Anyways, so this is gonna grow back real fast. And just cutting it so that way, ooh, it smells so good. Just cutting it so that way it could grow back new. Cause right now it's, it went to seed and like, you don't want seeds. Unless you're gonna sell them, but you do not want seeds. Because once those seeds fall into the ground, it's over. But having an outside space does not mean that you need a backyard or anything like that. If you just find like a corner in your apartments or or somewhere where there's an area where no one really goes around, then I would definitely get some grow bags and plant some stuff right there. Like you'd be surprised by people you'd be surprised by how people leave your things alone. Hello, Major. Um, what did you do to the tree? I cut it down. Oh. Get it in. Well, can I help you? Doesn't it? Well, next time, can I cut it with you? Uh, I, yeah, because you can still cut things. No, I, want I need these. I need these cut. I want to use a sword. No. You want me to throw these, throw these away? Yeah. Wow. I know, it's so okay. different, huh? So if there's like no more dirt in here, 
which uh, look like there isn't. Jay, you could take this out the bag. Why I got this bag from. Them? Oh shit! Never mind. Why it rooted. <laughs> it's rooted to the ground. All right. But man, I wish I could have got more to the root. Cause like all that is like goodness. All of this down here. Like all of these, all of this is like good. Like stuff that you want. This is the good stuff. That's where the potency is. That's all I'm gonna do for now. Um, Cause I'm tired. I feel lightheaded. And I still have to put all of this up. Yeah, so I gotta wash it all and then roll it which i'm going to show you guys me rolling it but probably not today because i'm tired it's their first time outside and they do not like it These are all lap cats. Huh? I was talking on the camera. They all like to be in your lap. So they is not having a hop, skip, and jump. And you know, defend themselves. Once they learn how to move faster, oh y'all going outside. So we're trying to get them used to being outside right now. Cause I don't want them in my house no more. My friend wants this one. She wants this one. Look at this. Look at him. So please leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know what other gardening tips you would like to know. Please subscribe. I need the help. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.